I bought the worst Walmart Yu-Gi-Oh products, so you don't have to. What's up, guys? We are back with another epic Yu-Gi-Oh opening. And by epic, I mean this is going to be terrible. I bought, so, so I went to Walmart looking for those legacy destructions you guys saw the other day. And while I was there, I noticed something else. So I figured, why not make two videos out of this trip? I'm going to Walmart because I heard they have these new, a new version of the worst product ever. I think it's a bunch of cards, like with like one light pack or something. We're gonna try to find them in Walmart. And if we can, we're gonna open them up. It's probably gonna be really bad though. I bought these. I these have been shown to me via dms on instagram and stuff like that people are like hey you need to go check these out 20 common cards five rare cards so that you know the usual crap one light pack one foreign pack so literally this is the crap to end all crap so it's crap cards you know 25 random cards which are going to probably be terrible i say that we'll probably pull something crazy but then there's a light pack which is three cards in a pack and then a foreign pack so that's probably like a star pack so I'm anticipating these being some of the worst products Walmart's ever made. The thing is, it's hard to really beat the ones where it was only cards. You know, there was no packs at all. It was like 21 cards, one rare 20 cards. They're probably not going to be that bad, but those aren't even available anymore. So I think this is taking the cake for the new worst. And since we're doing another Walmart video, let's give away the three unique ones we pulled in the other Walmart video, the tokens that everybody's wanting out of those legacies of destruction. So just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Just let me know down below. What do you think about this product? Is this the worst current Walmart? Walmart product right now, or is it the worst ever or what? Or maybe it's great, who knows? Maybe it turns out to be good. Let me know in the comments. Okay, uh, I also accidentally, this is pretty hilarious. So I was grabbing these. You have to go like behind the counter at this place. So you wait there for forever because it's in the same section as all the, I've said this many times, with like the cigarettes and all the, the dip and stuff like that. So there's always a huge line there. And of course there's people with giant buggies of stuff. I'm like, why do you have a giant buggy? Go in any other line. Then, so it takes forever. So if you finally get out there. You have to go back in there. You're under all this pressure because there's a big line behind you. You got to grab everything. I accidentally grabbed a, the wrong blister pack and got a Duels from the Deep Legendary Duelist pack or double pack, which fits perfectly with our worst Yu-Gi-Oh products opening. So hilariously, we will have this. I'm going to be opening this. Probably just open this first because, you know, I was trying to buy bad Yu-Gi-Oh products and I accidentally grabbed the wrong one and still grabbed a terrible Yu-Gi-Oh product. So it's pretty funny. The good thing is that we get we could actually get a ghost right here. So that would be pretty nice. I wouldn't be mad if we did that. Uh, we got some flipped over cards. I don't remember. There's no the pack trick here is pretty weird. What in the world that is destroyed? There's a rare. Oh, Rux is special. Number 106 Giant Hand. Actually, probably one of the better cards in the set. Not crazy money, but yeah, I'll mention by the way. These blisters, not this one, but the, the other crappy ones. It costs $4.97 each. So you're not looking at great value when you buy them. I mean, great value, like when people call like something a great value version of something, maybe you could do that. <laughs> that might be the only great value we're getting. So we spent a total of one, two, three, four, five, six of these times $4.97. So we're looking at basically 30 bucks. Let's see if we can get even get close to making 30 bucks back. Probably not gonna happen. I mean, these sealed packs that they give us are not exactly crazy. Let's see if there's anything on the back. Okay, light pack, form pack, MJ holding, who would have thought? I mean, they are making bank on these. Because, you know, partially because I keep opening them. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to tell you guys not to open them, but at the same time, people probably see these and like, hey, I want to open them. So sometimes that might happen. So uh, yeah, just advising you that most of the time it's not worth it. Hey, we got a super rare. Number Hunters, I think that's a guaranteed super rare, so I'm not exactly crazy or anything. Dragon's Mirror, let's see if we get anything. Mantis, let's just get a nice common. That's all I ask. Tuning. These are all gold rares, uh, so they are guaranteed to be rares. There's no such thing as a common in the gold set. So we got a guaranteed super and guaranteed rares, which means that none of those are actually rares. They're just kind of like commons, basically. So not exactly great. Uh, Chow Chow Chan, we have Tan Tam, Gunk and Sue Ship. I mean, Mimicking Man Eater Bug. I do love this card. It's very cool. But I'm not seeing much in terms of value right here. I mean, most of this looks pretty bad. Lost Brew Beak. Oh, yes! Oh, that's actually sick. I didn't realize this was a speed duel card. I need this for my Edison box. Okay, look, this is the good side of having the Edison box is you get a random common and it's exciting. Even out of these worst, terrible products, I can get excited. So Goblin Zombie, I didn't have an extra copy of it. Actually, I do have one because I pulled one in the 8K special secret rare. I found it the other day. So I do actually have one other copy. So this will make my second. So I can actually make another zombie deck cool because they usually only use two. So that's our best pull so far. Very happy with that. Okay, that is a great start. Honestly, I mean, getting a card I actually want is very cool. Vampire Retainer, anything for my Edison box, I'm going to be happy. Especially ones I don't have. Magician's Rod's not a terrible card either. That's kind of cool. Ancient Gear Box. 
Oh, we got an old card. Proof of Powerlessness from Raging Battle First Ed. That is pretty cool right there. Okay, so now we have Star Pack as I guess. We'll do the foreign one first because foreign cards, you know, not as exciting as English for people that are English speakers. You know what I mean? We have uh, Piccolo. We have Milebot. A uh, Trey. Okay, I'm not even going to try. Hey, look, it's a Starfoil though, so that's kind of cool. Starfoils are growing on me a little bit as I... Is I get old. Okay, light edition, magical hero. There are a couple of shatter foils I need for my Edison deck, like the Spined Gilman is the highest rarity in shatter foil. Supreme King Z arc. Let's see if we can get any foil. The only time I've ever pulled a foil out of one of these light packs, it was like bent up. If you guys remember that out of the uh, power cube. Scrap Iron Signal. Okay, so far we have actually gotten a couple cards. I'm surprised. So, I mean, those are not money. Goblin Zombie because of Edison could be a little bit. It is a speed duel version, so not exactly crazy, but it's possible that ha that has some value. Honestly, I'm more excited about the random cards now. So I'm going to start with the packs of uh, Reigns. Like, why? Why do they have to be Italian? Like, this is crazy. Why like, sell them in Italy or something? I don't get this. Drago and uh, Alter Guy. I mean, people do like foreign cards sometimes, but a star pack? Yeah, not exactly at a star pack. Like, that doesn't really... It's like, woo, star pack foreign. It's not exactly exciting. Let's try Magical Hero. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe if you are. Let's see if we can get anything. Quick draw. Edison. I forgot that was in there. And Secrets of Dark Magic. So we've gotten two Edison cards so far. I call that a success. Okay, we're going to do a pack trick. So the top five are the rares in here. This, four, and five. Okay. We have Marin says Marbled Rock. Wasn't this a Starlight in, in uh, Rising Rampage? I think this is one of the first Starlights, isn't it? Maybe it's just a secret. No, it's not a Starlight. I think it's just a secret rare. We have Cyber Shark. That is a, a se that's a secret rare. I think that was in Tactical Evolution, something like that. Rux and Special. Marin said, now that was a Starlight. That one was a Starlight in Rising Rampage. I know that. Claybreaker. We have Friend Doggy. Weird how these are all connected. Princess of Sarugi from Starter Deck Joey. Oh my gosh, that's old. Protron, all right, they just buy a bunch of bulk. They're like, all right, here it goes. Psychic Tracker, Amazon is Archer. Glacier, Aquamador, Margin Trading. Trimid Loading, we have the Shinobi Insect. Hagakuramino, we used this in our uh, Petite Moth deck for the uh, April Fool's video a couple years ago. Cosmic Slicer, Dragon Lark, Gaia Armor, Dragon Shell, Rita okay, these are all too new. Give us some Edison cards. Come on, Ruxin Special. Shao Lin. Now that is a dual link special back in the day. It was in one of the uh, one of the structure decks, I think. Synchron Mast Explorer or Mast Explorer Sorcerer from MRD Labyrinth. OK, here are here are our rares. They're all guaranteed. Rares Magician of Hope, guaranteed super and runic droplet. OK, that one not very good. Not that the first one was good, but at least we got something out of there. OK, four more of these. So let's go. Let's try this again. I'm going to save the cards for last because you never know. It could be a ghost rare in there. Star pack. I don't even know what we're hoping for out of star pack. I don't think there's anything I want out of here. Compilations. I, I can't even read these. I can't even read them. I don't know what they're saying. It's just like, OK, cool. Next. Probably shouldn't even open them, but that's what we're doing here. We're opening them. Let's see if we can get something out of here. Tuning. Magician's Navigation. Cool card, but not what we're looking for. OK, pack trick. Let's just, you know, to make it easier because this is hurting my hand holding all these cards. We're going to go through like this. Basil Rouge, Bouge Incandescence, Rux and Special, War Rock Generations, Arm Sage, Dark Eye Nightmare, Zexel Intrust, Screams of the Branded, Zexel Alliance, World Soul Carbon, Torrential Tribute, I'll take that. Somewhat Edison related, we have Number C101, Silent Honor Dark. I just uh, submitted one of these to PSA. I posted that on my Patreon slash YouTube member. You guys saw the early submission, if you guys... If you guys haven't seen that and you remember, go check it out. Uh, Marin says, it's, you know, you might as well. Legendary for the Fisherman. Fisherman 2 right after it. Another, another Silent Honor Dark, Citadel Whale, and XC's Remora. Okay, so we're getting a couple cards that I want. Oh, wait, we're not done yet. Okay, guaranteed Ultra Rare out of Ghost from the Past. Book of Lunar Eclipse from... Okay, it's not guaranteed. I mean, it, there's a lot of supers, but it's at least not guaranteed. Beckoning Beast is pretty cool out of mod, uh, Mega Pack 22. These are all Mega Pack 22, it looks like. Well, that's 21 opening of the spirit gates. So more bulky, bulky foils. Nothing crazy. Three left, three left. And so far, you know, disappointment as expected. I mean, honestly, I'm excited about that goblin zombie. That's that's what I'm excited about, because I do not have a lot of copies of that. And I want to add more copies of cards that I don't have. We have the OK. Yeah, the super heavy samurai guy and then the chicken. OK, chicken, man. Legendary duelist, magician, magical heroes, not magician souls. That is a card in here that we will pull. Not right now. OK, on to the cards that matter. Honestly, the rares are the worst cards. Like I'm looking more forward to the comments. So maybe I, what happened? One of the cards didn't come. To, 
So I think that we can take that one. Okay. Xyz, Buzzsaw, Shark. That was a classic. And I had two of those. What is that from? That's from uh, Duels from the Deep, ironically enough. Crazy that Duels from the Deep bulk made it into this crappy bulk. It's pretty wild. Legendary Fisherman too. Torrential Tribute, we'll take that. Time Thief Hack, Gar Dragon Garmides, Crusher Run, Slid Dolphin, Tyrant Dino Fusion, Brutal Dozer, Zushi the Sleeping Giant. Oh, we bought a bunch of these for our investment. You know what, I'll pull that out just for, just for that, for the reference. Guard of Treasure, Lord of the Red, Genzo. Oh, Monster Reborn and a Resolute Mech Lord Army. So not much in that one. Let's see about these cards. Will there be anything decent? Come on, Mass Sword. That's that's one of our rares. <laughs> Runic Flashing Fire. Hey, that's a uh, look. Foil bulk is worth more than common bulk. So I'll take it if they're at least foils. Runic Freezing Curses. Magician Hope. So four foils. Yay. Awesome. Okay, two left. Uh, come on, give me another Goblin Zombie. That's what I really want. Goblin Zombie would be pretty amazing. That's really all I can hope for at this point. I mean, I, I won't even bring up the Ghost Rare story when we pulled the Ghost Rare. It's not going to happen because guess what? It wasn't on camera. So it might as well have never happened. And I got rid of the car like a dummy. Okay, we got the little Fright for Sheep, I think is that name. Oh, there we go. Legendary Fisherman. That's pretty cool. You know, that's actually kind of a cool card. I might take that out. Legendary Fisherman. Starfoil. I don't know why a legendary fisherman is in that set. It's pretty weird. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why. Okay. Uh, Wing Karibo. We have for Foam Pal Pendulum Sorcerer and Magician of Dark Illusion. Another cool card. All right. Second to last really bad item from Walmart. Don't worry. Do not buy these guys. Based on what you've seen, we have not made a lot of money back. Volcanic Shell is actually kind of nice. Firewall, Salamandra, Double Spell, Twister, Pikaru. Ebon High Magician actually goes with our uh, magical hero. So that's pretty cool. That's from season three. Season three, uh, Legendary Duelist. Magical Formula. Is that, where is that from? Yugi's Legendary Decks. Interesting. Volcanic Blaster. Dual Avatar. Might an expansion. Okay. Generator Transverser. Hang on, Mech. We have Beckham by the World Chalice. Trump Panda. Death Bot. Jack Wyvern. And Performal Pal Bot. I Lazard. And our foils. We have the Fortune. Oh, we got a gold rare back there. That looks like a movie pack gold rare, though. So that means it's not going to be great. Battles Legend Heroes Revenge. That's pretty old, actually. Uh, Ghost Rick Mummy, we have Rookie Warrior Lady, Ghost in the Past 2, DD Lamia, Ghost in the Past 2, and yeah, Gold Rare, Dimensional Guardian. Okay, yeah, those are probably some of the worst Gold Rares in terms of value. There's just not much in that set. There's a couple of them, you know, the Blue Eyes and Dark Magician stuff. All right, let's get our last pack out. So far, I don't think we've made, thir I don't think we made 30 bucks. We've barely made a couple bucks. Maybe we, I don't even know if we've made a couple bucks, because that Goblin Zombie... I love it, but I, it's probably a 20 cent card because it's just a speed duel common. Okay, let's see what we can get here. We have the Melodious and okay, a Yosinju D or whatever it's called. Played that for a second on Duel Links, but I never, I didn't get really super familiar with it. Legendary Duelist, give us that Magician Souls, baby. Performal Pal. No, thank you. Not happening. All right. Last pack magic. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to never buy these from your Walmart. Don't let anybody you know buy these from your Walmart. They're really bad. Memory loss, we have six samurai. We have Speedroid, Mind Drain, King the Fair Limps, Black Ritual. We have Spell Shadowing Arrow, Dark Magical Curtain, Queen's Knight, Magical Dimension, Tragedy. Swords of Revealing Light actually could be pretty nice. Gaia the Fierce Knight, Curse of Dragon, Winged Dragon of Raw, Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress, different card. Gaia the Dragon, a lot of old cards here. Oh, the Griffor from Legendary uh, Yugi's Legendary Dex. Man, I'm talking too fast today. Man of the Graveyard and Karibo. I just can't keep up. I'm just speeding around. And I just remember, right before we do this last part, I actually have one of the old 20 card, one guarantee card. These are the worst ones ever because I think these were $5 too. They didn't even have packs in them. They had less rare, rares, whatever you want to call those. Uh, tw still 20 guards. Uh, no, actually 19 guards, one rare. These were so, so bad. Funny enough, this is just how this works. My mother-in-law for like Christmas or something bought me this thinking, oh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, and he buy she buys this, you know, cause she doesn't know the worst product ever. And I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> so I'm like, uh-huh, thanks a lot. Because these are just the unsuspecting person just buys these thinking they might be decent. And guess what? All of us at this point know they are terrible. So I'm gonna open it up, you know, because who knows, maybe there's a ghost shirt. This is a late Christmas present for me. I forgot I had this. Let's see. I think the rares at the front. So we're going to go like that. Let's see what we can get. Can we get any cool commons at least? That'd be awesome. Reptilian. We have giant starfall. We've got, we've got a skill card in here. Low blow. <laughs> these are a low blow. Okay. That there's not, there's never been a more perfect card for one of these. MJ holding low blow, man. Messed up. Cyber dark edge. Dre called the haunt. Call the haunted. We'll take that. That's not bad. Lang Lang. 
Cyberdark Keel, Cyberdark Driver Dragon Core. These are just from the structure deck. Tri Brigade, Sand Bell, and Cyframe Driver is our rear. So Cyframe Driver, I'm mean, gonna I guess you do need one. Let's open our last five cards from the other one. Preta Plant, let's see what we can get. If you guys have enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. We'll be coming out every single day. We have Witch of the Black Forest. We have Level Limit Area B or other Area A. Also, go check out the Patreon or YouTube membership if you guys haven't already. There's a lot of new benefits that I talked about the other day. Also, Ruxin34.com. A lot of stuff available there. Last card. Is it something good? Probably not. It's a foil, I guess. So, uh, yeah, those were just about as bad as I thought. The only reason there was any positive spin is because I'm trying to build an Edison box and some of these cards can be put in there. Goblin Zombie Speed Duel Common is our best pull. Shout out to Tone Fosho, Anessa Dianda, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Junior Barning, Robert F., Changalang, Adelso Garcia Jr., and Edwin K. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.